Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be never compromise your principles. Well, I've got an email. This is a follow-up one from a success story I did probably about six months ago. And that previous email was the art of letting women chase you. And this particular guy is dating an alpha female. And at the time, they'd been together for about six months. Things were going great. Well, what's interesting is he has since been having a lot of problems with his girlfriend's mother, who is very domineering, very demanding, and she likes to bully people to get her way. And so everybody around her is always trying to placate her and please her, and she uses intimidation to try to get what she wants. So, so far, up until recently, his girlfriend has been right on board with him standing up for himself to her mother. However, just recently, some things happened, which I'll get into when we go to his email, and he's pretty certain of what he wants to do, but he wanted my opinion, and so I thought it was a great email about standing up for yourself, standing up for your values, and your principles, because you're going to date, and you're going to be in relationships, you're also going to be, in essence, in a relationship with your spouses, or your girlfriends, or your significant other's parents, and things are going to come up, because let's... But frankly, not everybody's going to get along and not everybody's going to like each other. And if you've read both my books, How to Be a 3% Man, as well as Mastering Yourself, then you know I had a pretty interesting family life. And there were lots of people in my family that just fucking hated each other on both sides of the family. And it created a lot of problems in our family growing up. And the reality is most of those people that were the problem ones, they're, they've all since passed away. And I have a pretty good relationship with my family these days. But these are things that are going to come up in your life because the reality is you're not going to like everybody that is friends or a family member of your significant other. And so what happens when you, you have, there's friction and your significant other thinks you should compromise on things that you don't feel right? I mean, it's true. you got to choose your own battles or choose your battles carefully but when somebody expects you to compromise your values and principles, it can be a touchy subject, especially when the end of a great relationship is potentially going to be the result of you standing your ground. So before we get into it, I got a quote that I wrote, and then we'll go through this email. By the way, you're looking, you see all these chiropractic tables behind me. I had my uh, good friend who's a network chiropractic doctor in town for the weekend working on myself. There's about 14 of us here. So I just haven't put my living room back together. And oh, tip of the day. If you ever have a wise decision like I did of getting a white leather couch, very expensive white leather couch, it's not a good idea for people who have gotten out of the pool or they're wet or people that have colored clothes or leather skirts. So I had a, a friend over and she had a a red or a burgundy leather skirt and sat on my couch and the fucking coloring rubbed off on it and you know a ten thousand dollar couch it's so i get people coming to potentially clean it or replace it there's a warranty on it so that's just the free tip of the day a furniture tip for you completely unrelated to the video so the quote says being a people pleaser is weak in beta being alpha means standing up for yourself what you believe in and being unwilling to compromise your values and principles just to please others. Being a people pleaser is the hallmark of the nice guy beta male women love as friends, but never as romantic partners and lovers. A woman cannot fully love and submit to a man whose masculine core she does not trust. She has to know that if she pushes you too far, that you will walk and never look back. Being a man is about doing what is right, even when doing what's right is upsetting and offensive to others. Big reason why I love President Trump, and I'm sure people are going to go, fuck you, Corey, you suck. But I don't care. I believe in doing what's right, and he's doing a great job. I'm happy the results he's getting. I'm sure people are going to go fucking bananas in the comments, but I don't fucking care. I care about the country. I care about my friends and my family and doing the right thing. Women don't respect men who are too weak to stand up for themselves and what they believe in. If she doesn't respect you, she can never love you. 
so let's get into his email and see what's going on. He says, hey, Corey, you did a video newsletter on my first email to you back in February. Well, things have been going great with her and I, or so I thought. We've now been together for a year, and at the time I wrote you last, I had a confrontation with her mother, which it wasn't, obviously, he wrote the email sending in, and then after the fact, few days after that or whatever he had his confrontation to his mother and so this was like started six months ago and it's been a progression of him butting heads you know it's like you get two alphas butting heads he's he, his girlfriend is an alpha female his mother is the alpha and she runs the family basically and the father tends to be very passive so somebody's going to win somebody is always going to be the more dominant one so you can imagine a couple people running around, man and woman beating their chest. And this girl's mother is using everything she can because she's, she's become a master manipulator. She's a master manipulator manipulating her husband and her daughter and probably everybody else in her family. And she's not used to being having people stand up to her and not be able to be under her thumb. He says, I was over there helping her one day and I made a statement that she clearly misinterpreted. She took it as I demeaned her, <clears throat> demeaned her and then later told my girlfriend to me she was disappointed at me. So instead of communicating like an adult saying, hey, that hurt my feelings or did you just say this? She goes right to this motherfucker. Let me go th try to throw a grenade in their relationship by telling my daughter that I'm not happy with her boyfriend. That's manipulative. That's not honest. That's not authentic. And that is not something that somebody has who has healthy communication skills is going to do. My response to my girlfriend about it was, well, if that's a big, if it's that big of a deal to your mom, she'll come talk to me about it. She's an adult. Great response, dude. Good job. You've been paying attention and you've been a good student. And for those of you that haven't read the book yet, you can read it on my website for free by subscribing to the newsletter. It's at understandingrelationships.com. Just click the free ebook and follow the instructions. You can also read Mastering Yourself for free, the ebook version on my website as well. And if you're more of an Audible person, you can get both audiobooks for free by doing an Audible free trial. It's my plug of the day for my book. And I let it go. I didn't even say anything directed at her or about her. I was talking about a tree. Seriously, I can't make this stuff up. So he was talking about a tree and she got offended. The reality is, as you go through life, no matter what you do, you're going to offend people. Just like the Trump comment. There's going to be plenty of people that are going to fucking ride on Corey, I'm with you. And there's going to be other people going, oh, I'm unsubscribing, I'm unfollowing, you're a horrible person. He's a racist. Whatever. No, he's not. But go ahead and believe what you want to believe. You got to be who you are in the world. And, you know, like Gary Halbert once said, if you're not pissing people off, you're doing something wrong. Can't please everybody. Fast forward three to four weeks. I was over again at my girlfriend's house, helping her do something for her mom again, mind you. And her mom proceeded to blow up at me, cursing, yelling, getting in my face, trying to intimidate and bully me. That sure doesn't sound like something a feminine woman who is in control of her emotions would do. That sounds like a woman who's pissed off at men, who's totally in her masculine because she's surrounded by weak men would do. It didn't work. I stood my ground as she got in my face yelling and cursing at me. Boy, can you just imagine all the few future Christmases and Thanksgivings and all the different holidays and birthdays and then having your kids over. Imagine this woman around your grandkids. And my family, shit like this, not that, it, not that ever there was any yelling and screaming between my mom and her in-laws, but there was a lot of nastiness and it got to the point where my mom's like, fuck it, I'm done with them. I've gone out of my way to be nice to her and win her over and she's just been an asshole to me and now she's being an asshole to my kids fuck it we're done with them and that was pretty much it we didn't talk to them anymore he says i puffed up my chest and looked down my nose at her not saying a word to her 
When I lifted my chest in a defensive posture, I mean, obviously she's in your personal space. She came into your personal space like a man would who's threatening you. My chest so happened to graze her chest and she immediately claimed that I assaulted her. Her yelling, screaming, cussing continued onto the front porch. You know, what's interesting when you look at police statistics, the most dangerous calls, the calls that the police hate going on the most are domestic disturbances like this. I mean, how many times have you heard the news? People get into it, family members get into it, and, and they start shooting each other or killing each other. I mean, the great Marvin Gaye, the singer, he got into a fight with his father, and it got escalated to the point where his father shot and killed Marvin Gaye. It was a fucking tragedy. But there are families out there where shit like that happens, where just shit gets so far out of control, people do physical violence to each other. There was, an, there was an, another story in the news about two, three weeks ago. Maybe it was about a month ago. Old woman. She's like in her 90s. And her kids were going to commit her or have her put her in a nursing home. She fucking pulled out a gun and shot and killed her son. 96 years old. You, sh you murder your fucking son because he's going to put you in a nursing home. That's fucking crazy. Her yelling, screaming, cussing continued onto the front porch where I finally spoke up and addressed her negativi negativity towards me and that I'm not going to tolerate her disrespect when I didn't do anything wrong. I'm with you, bro. My girlfriend was witness to everything stated except the chest thing, so she saw and heard how wrong her mother acted and how disrespectful she was to me when I was there to help her. Twice! Yeah, you're helping her out, you're doing nice things for her, and she's a total fucking cunt to you. That's real. That sucks. This is another reason why you should date for several years if you're going to decide to get married. Because not only would you be marrying her, you'd be marrying her mother. Is this the kind of person you want raising or being around your grandkids? Not once did I get a thank you or any act of appreciation whatsoever from her mom. I didn't expect anything, but usually when you help get help from someone, you say thank you to them. I know I do. Instead, I got yelled at, cursed at, scolded, and belittled. Not once, but twice. Anyways, fast forward five to six months when we finally had a meeting where my girlfriend and I sat down with her mom and her mom's husband, girlfriend's stepdad, to try and resolve the situation. I had to speak up to start because no one would. Sounds like it's a family of great communicators. Silent treatment and stonewalling is how they roll. The meeting ended with her calling me a liar and still claiming that I assaulted her and she would not accept the fact that what I said in the first place was not even directed at her at all. So it was her mistake. A little bit of narcissism going on there on her part. Is that what they call gaslighting? She refused to accept that. She kept calling me a liar and said I assaulted her. No, you got in my face and you bumped into me. You got in my personal space and you bumped into me. You're out of line and you can talk to me in a calm voice, in a kind voice, or I'm going to leave and we can reconvene later when you're ready to be mature. That's what I would have said and I would have left. I wouldn't put up with that shit. She also tried to throw the, man, you're just losing brownie points with me in my face. <laughs> I love his response. <laughs> to, which <I> la <laughs> to which I laughed and said, I don't give a shit about your brownie points. You have nothing I want. You have no power over me. You know what you really have a problem with me about? The fact that I won't tolerate you bullying me like everyone else lets you get away with. Ooh. Ooh, that's some radical truth there. And like Jack Nicholson said in A Few Good Men, she couldn't handle the truth. I left and told my girlfriend I would not tolerate the amount of disrespect that her mother has shown me. Good job, dude. Being a fucking man, you're in your masculine. Guess speak and live your truth. Because no one will ever do or say anything to you that you don't invite them to do. 
So to, can, to put up with it, to be a pleaser, you're just communicating to her, hey, it's okay to be a total cunt to me and abuse me in front of everybody. And no matter what your girlfriend says on some level, she's going to lose respect for you because she knows that you're not being a man and you're letting her mom diminish you and belittle you. Fast forward to this weekend, a month and a half later, I said some negative things about her mom, which I shouldn't have said and I apologize for. I was totally at fault there. But now my girlfriend is insisting and threatening me to end our relationship. So statistically, I've, I've done articles on this over the past few years. I can't remember which ones, but there's been psychological studies that have been done and they look at, well, why is it certain couples can last decades and get along great and others just completely blow apart? And one of the big things that lead to the end of a lot of relationships is when one or both people threaten the end of the relationship constantly when they don't get their way. Eventually, at some point, you're like, see ya. I had a girlfriend like that once. Every time she got mad at me, she threatened to break up with me. And eventually, it was like, I can fucking replace you. And you know what? I did. It hurt. It sucked. Breakups suck ass. And it took many months to get over it. But I did. And... I don't have to put up with that shit, and neither do you. There's way too many fish in the sea for that nonsense. Besides, if you got one alpha, hot alpha female, you can get another. It's just a matter of time. If you apply what you learn in the book. <clears throat> so let's go back and read that sentence. Is he says, but now my girlfriend is insisting and threatening me to end our relationship if I don't cater to and apologize to her mother for her mother's wrongdoing, not mine. I am completely and utterly fed up with this crap. I fucking feel you, dude. I totally feel you. And know that I need to walk away from the relationship, but I wanted to hear your input. I wouldn't say walk away from the relationship because at the end of the day, your girlfriend is threatening to walk away from you. You're going to say, well, I'll get to that in a second. But I wanted to hear your input and maybe save some other poor guy from a similar manipulative mother. Never in all my life would I ever ask my girlfriend to put up with such bullshit from one of my family members. Yeah, and she wouldn't trust your masculine core. She'd be really upset with you. And I've done plenty of videos in the past from guys that did just that. They allowed their family member to berate their girlfriends or their wives. In one case, the... I think it was the, the church was trying to intimidate a guy's fiance about the, the wedding and he didn't fucking tolerate it. And he stood up for her and she really fucking loved him for that. She claims she stands up for me to her mom, but now that she's insisting I keep the peace. Well, I would say it's, it sounds, obviously it is a true statement that she has defended you in the past. But obviously in this one particular instance, which sounds like just a conversation that the two of you had about her mother, she's got upset because, and she's trying to test you and challenge you. It's like she's taking it a little too far. You apologize for saying something you shouldn't have said, and now she wants to see if you'll just go and wilt like a little lily and apologize for everything that you shouldn't have apologized for, which I definitely wouldn't agree with that. You do something wrong, you admit you're wrong, and you apologize. But when you're right, you're fucking right. She claims she's standing up for me to her mom, but now she's insisting that I keep the peace because her mom won't change. That may be true, but your mom being an asshole, or her mom being an asshole, is not your fault. And it's not your job to change her, or to save her, or to fix her, or to become a little bitch to please her. I'm led to believe that she was never on my side about it in the first place. Well, I would say that's not fair. She was, but obviously whatever you said to her this recent time has really set her off because she's got an emotional charge with it because her mother's a lunatic and she fucking knows it. I cannot submit to such evil, manipulative, and controlling behavior. That is not love. Amen, dude. Am I in the wrong here? Is my girlfriend in the wrong? I'd say, yes, your girlfriend is in the wrong about threatening you with the end of the relationship. That is not loving. That is manipulative in itself. And I wonder, who could she have possibly learned that manipulation from? It's such a mystery. 
Of course, there's three sides to every story, but the fact that my girlfriend is now insisting I sacrifice my self-respect and dignity just to keep the peace feels completely, in big bold letters he says, wrong to me. I would never ask her to do that, and you shouldn't. So here's what, what I would say to her. I love you. I adore you. The sun rises and sets with you, my love. However, if being with you means I'm going to have to start being a people pleaser and catering to, catering to your mom and putting up with her abuse, then that is just a bridge too far. You can't ask me to do that and you can't expect me to do that. And I'm not going to apologize for things that I didn't do right. And I also don't appreciate you telling me or threatening me, threatening the end of our relationship because I won't jump through my butt to please your mother. That is not loving. That is manipulative. And I don't appreciate that. And you should apologize to me for threatening me with the end of our relationship. That is not acceptable. That's not how I roll. If we've got a problem, we can talk it out. Threats, intimidation, manipulation, just like your mother does, that doesn't work for me. And But I'll understand. Maybe that doesn't work for you. Maybe you want a guy that's a bit of a pussy and we'll put up with that, but that's just not how I roll. Hopefully we can work it out, but if we can't, that's been a great fucking year. Best, one of the best years of my life. And I love you forever and ever, but... I'll understand. This is where I am. This is this is how, this is my truth, and I'm not going to compromise my principles, and my values. And I don't appreciate you trying to get me to compromise my principles and my values. You've known me for a year, and that shit just ain't right. And you got to understand that she may follow through in that threat and say, "Fuck you, you unreasonable bastard," and I never want to see and speak to you again. Well. You know, I'm sorry you feel that way, but that's not appropriate. And, you know, give me a call if you change your mind. But, you know, I'm exp if I'm expecting you to apologize to me for behaving this way and threatening to end a relationship or even walking out the door, you got to let her go. I mean, this is one of those times when a woman has to know that if she pushes you too far, you will walk and never look back. But on some level... If you stick to your guns and your girlfriend may storm off and be mad and huff and puff for a few days, but there's a good chance that she'll come back as well. And if she does come back, she'll be submissive to you and she'll say, you know what, I'm, you're right, honey. I thought about it. I was being a bit emotional. I love my mom and I want everybody to get along. And I know she's just a fucking cunt, but she's my mother and I love her and she's family. And we'll just figure it out. And so next time her mother pulls her bullshit, guess whose side your girlfriend will be on? Really be on. She'll be on your side. And if not, you can easily replace her because you're a 3% man, dude. I mean, that's really not that you're going to throw that in her face, but I love myself enough to not tolerate this kind of disrespect. So... Other than those couple little things I pointed out, dude, it's like, you fucking crushed it. You passed the test. 3% man, that's, that's how we roll. You got to live and speak your truth. And sometimes it may mean that a chick walks out of your life that's really awesome for the most part. But it is what it is. Because a woman who comes from a healthy family, who loves her mom, who loves her dad, who communicates well, this kind of shit's never going to come up. This, these things just won't happen. You'll sit there and you'll have a family conference. You'll listen to her. She'll listen to you and say, you know, maybe I was a little harsh. Maybe I was a little wrong. Maybe I was a little out of line. But obviously her mother has been this way her whole life and everybody enables her behavior. And you're a guy that she's come to recognize is not going to enable her behavior. So she's either going to have to cut her bullshit out or you're not going to be coming around or her daughter's not going to be coming around as much. Just because why would you want to go over... I mean, if every time you go to her house, her parents' house, she's a cunt to you, it's like, honey, I love you, but you want to go see your mom? I got some other things I'm going to do, and we'll get together later. That's what I would do if I were you, dude. But great fucking job, man. I'm really proud of you for standing up for yourself. And I love the last sentence. He's, he says, feels completely wrong to me. That's your truth. 
And you can't go against that and because your girl will sense that and she will feel that and she will lose respect for you if you go against what you feel. So if you're in a situation or a challenge, whether it's a pers- something in your personal life or your professional life and you'd like to get my help, quickest way is go to my website, click the products tab at the top of your screen and book whatever coaching option works for you. And if you'd like to listen to the audio versions of my YouTube videos, they're now available in podcast format on iTunes and SoundCloud and Stitcher and Spotify and probably like 15, 18 other different podcast platforms. And if you have a question or a success story that you want to send in, you can send it to questions at understandingrelationships.com. Again, that's questions with an S at understanding relationships with an S dot com. And I will talk to you soon. <laughs>